Hey guys, so we're going to do a little watercoloring today. Um, I have a couple things I wanted to go over with you. And I don't have time right now to do a live broadcast, so we're going to do a recording. <laughs> um, one of them is, I'll talk about this and this in a minute. So one of them is this new palette I found. Well, new to me, I should say. It is um, by Holbein, and they do sell these. Um, they're called a palm box, I believe. Um, they do sell these with paints in them, um, but they, you also can get the empty boxes on eBay, and if I remember to, I will put a link to at least one of the listings so that you can get a description of what to look for on the internet. Um, they do come from like China, so they take a while to get here, but they're really interesting. Um, it reminds me a lot of the Koi um, pocket box, and I'm kind of liking it. I haven't put any paints in it yet, but I will be. Um, so the box comes like this, and it has a mixing tray here um, that you can take out of the lid and attach to the, any one of the sides or to down here to the base. Um, you can put your paper up here that you're watercoloring on if you want, or use this for more mixing space. These are have magnetic tape in them. So... Um, this is a magnetic box, so if you get some half pans, which the company that I bought this from also sells half pans, so I bought a bunch of half pans, and then take your little half pans and put a little piece of metal or a magnet on the back, um, then they stick very nicely in the box and don't come out. Um, I will post a link to all of this in the description below. Um, these little round magnets are by Bikes technologies. This is a box of 250. They're little round disc magnets. I specifically have for doing things like that. this. Um, they're not expensive. I got them on Amazon and again I'll put it in the description below. But I just wanted to give you guys some ideas and show you really quick um, about this box. I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's really interesting um, and it might be a fun way to take more than you know just 12 colors with you like on vacation or something because the box isn't that big. Um, that being said, I have been known to try to take my Koi box on vacation, and every time I do that, I get stopped by TSA, and they want to know what that plastic box is in my bag, so FYI. <laughs> All right, so that's that. I do have my Daniel Smith um, big box of paints out, and um, we were recently at a... Um, uh, Christmas potluck party and um, it was a white elephant gift thing and this was in the bag of other stuff that we got and I'm sure it was intended to be a joke. I actually kind of like this calendar. There's some really great pictures of animals in this calendar because it's a World Wildlife Fun calendar. Um, and I thought it would be really great to use for some inspiration. Some of these animals are really great. Um, there is one, this one, uh, that my daughter thinks is creepy. I think that's actually hilarious. Um, turtles and different things. I don't even know what that is. That's a sloth. Um, but there was one in particular. Isn't that pretty? Um, there was one in particular, this one, of the puffins that I th I was really interested in maybe doing some kind of quick watercolor um, of it. So I'm going to work here in my moleskin watercolor journal that we've worked in before and I'm going to do some sort of little uh, quick watercolor of the puffins. I'm going to speed forward through the process and I'll be back when I'm done.
Okay, there's just a quick little watercolor um, of our puffins from the calendar page. Um, I love it. It's just quick, easy, simple um, way to um, do a little study in my journal of the puffins. And um, you can find inspiration anywhere um, from a, you know, funny calendar that you got at a white elephant party to the picture pictures of the weeds in the backyard um, look around you there's inspiration everywhere and don't worry about being perfect just worry about having fun all right that's it for today everybody don't forget to like share and subscribe if you can that would be great and uh, support my channel either by shopping over in my Etsy shop or uh, hitting going to the YouTube channel's main page and hitting that fan funding button. That's it for right now. I am filming this right before Christmas, so I hope you've all had a happy holiday and a happy new year, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.